What really triggered me about this idea of the campaign was that um, rather than taking your uh, house into the, into the sky, so to speak, but bringing the sky into your home and visualizing that. And furthermore, in the, in the images itself, I was really fond of the idea that all the clouds in all the three images are in front of windows. So there's a relation between the inside and the outside. But as an opposite, you were normally be looking outside a window and seeing clouds. You make art or you make things because you just you have ideas and you just want to see if it would be possible. I initially started to work with the idea, could I exhibit a rain cloud and what would that be like? And what would it be made of? I couldn't create a digital cloud, so therefore I really have to make it myself. I'm very bad with computers, but also uh, I think making it, well, having it physically there is really important. I make the clouds well using smoke, but also uh, water vapor. I release a burst of smoke that bumps into to water particles, and they stick to that smoke and make it heavier, so it keeps it together. You kind of have to think about everything. So I have an idea on where I want the cloud, how high I want it, and the size and the shape. There are lots of aspects which I cannot really fully control. Because you can never tell if the clouds grow how it will reflect light or change shape. And that all is depending on that space and where you are working. So in that sense, they are all, well, unique to that location, which I think is really important for that work. You want the cloud to have a certain volume, certain dominance, and also relation to the space. So all those things you try to adjust. And, and also in a way, it's like uh, classical painters use their clouds as a tool as well for creating the right atmosphere. But every cloud is different and unique. And in that sense, it really works to uh, relate to this project and to this campaign as well, because all the jets are unique. This campaign is a bit different than shooting an, a plane in the sky. We wanted to represent the, the luxury of your home, but also the freedom and privacy you would have at your own place. So we looked for three locations in, in London that, um, yeah, that were kind of different characters, but at the same time were really fit well with the ideas we had. We had a very luxurious space, but also a very classical space, and some space that referred more to an industrial, urban kind of space. Normally I work with, um, well, the artwork, the cloud is just the subject in the piece, but now you have to have, uh, we have different, different elements. We have the people, the props and the clouds and you have to communicate with each other, you have to form a narrative. So it's a different way of, of working. I love working with RJ Muna again. RJ has a very good feeling for material and in that sense uh, it worked really well with my work and this project. And he also knows what I want to capture and he knows the process so in that sense we don't have to discuss about a whole lot of things, we're on the same level. I'm really happy with the low uh, angle camera shot we took so we have a very low level uh, horizon you could say almost like the, the radar in an airplane. We have a quarter of, quarter of ground basically and the rest three quarters is open space for the cloud to hoover above your head as well, but also to, um, yeah, to simulate the idea, the bigger idea and the freedom. So that's very clever, that works really well. I found working with Airbus corporate jets great. I used to work alone and working with such a well, big and well-organized organization turned out really nice. There were lots of people that were, well, so good at what they were doing. So we could act really fast and there was a very focused atmosphere on that set. You can do lots of things in a very short amount of time. So that worked. I was really happy with the end of the day that we got that shot and know that the next day we're going to go for the next. And uh, yeah, you just know that you have it. And that's, that's very nice.